Hi everybody, welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. And in my last video, I showed you my Frosted Flakes or my mini cereal um, gratitude journal I'm working on. So we're gonna continue with that today. I'm gonna to actually show you how I made the cover. Um, but before I start with that, I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, it's a little dreary here today in the north country of New York. Um, we've had snow and now, as usual, uh, we can't get away from the ice. So whatever snow we had, it's crunchy and our driveways are icy again. The roads are clear, but it's just in, when you're in the backwoods, it just, it's terrible. Um, but it's, it's still a good day. Um, and it's always a good day when you're at your craft table and you have a lot of things to be thankful for. And I do have a lot of things to be thankful for. So getting on with the, um, the little cover. It is made out of cloth. And I did mention that this material uh, came from Stampin' Up. Now, I don't know if Stampin' Up still sells material, but I will show you... Um, how it comes um, in the the box you get a bundle I got these when they were when they were on sale I don't know if they were discontinuing this is the material here that's on the the cover here of the um, little journal that I'm presently making I have not embellished inside yet um, we'll get to that at another time but I did have some requests to see how um, the covers were made. So that's what we're going to work on today. But the material here, it was considered designer fabric. This one here is called Sweet Stitches. Um, this box here is called Springtime Vintage. And this one is Candy Cane Christmas. So I actually have two projects. I'm going to try to work a little speediently and do a couple boxes. I also have a, a Cheez-Its box here that I have a ton, I mean a ton of vintage patterns. And I was thinking about making a journal using a lot of the patterns. So I needed a box that these would go in pretty, pretty easily. So I think the Cheez-It box will fit the bill because um, they... I think they'll be okay. And if they're sticking up a little bit, I can always fold this down or take this part off. I'm not sure just yet how I'm going to do it. But um, I'd like to also do the Cheez-It box with you today um, as well as the Frosted Flakes box. But I want to show you uh, the material that came with the boxes. It's a wonderful material. Um Machine wash cold water. I didn't machine wash any of this. Uh, the dimensions are 18 by 28 by 46 um, inches. It is 100% cotton. So at the time, I had no idea. I mean, I did have an idea that, you know, maybe I could use this somehow in my scrapbooking. Um, but it's all quite lovely material. So I only have one uh, bit of fabric in this box here. I think this here, uh, the springtime, this came in it. And I do have another, and of course I misplaced it. Well, actually I didn't misplace it. I'm using it on, um, I'm using it on the Frosted Flakes box. Cause this one I want, I really like to make a, a Christmas gratitude journal or a little junk journal, however you'd like to use it. This one here is the sweet, the sweet stitches. Say that five times. Sweet stitches, sweet stitches. Um, and this is the sample that you get in this box. So you should, you know, go on if you, maybe they still have them in their, their clearance. This, this was years ago, though. And this one is adorable. This one here. These are all little pattern girls view two view three this is very cute 
and then you get one full of buttons. So this is the sweet, this is the sweet stitches. So you get three <clears throat> nice pieces in each box. And I'm sorry if I'm sniffing. Um, I had to go out for a another wake today. It was the second one this week that I've had to go to. I, I had to, I didn't have to, I chose to go to a memorial service for a very dear friend um, on Monday and then today one of our former I'm gonna flip this over, the edges are curled. Uh, one of our former employees that worked with my husband for my husband for 17 years. He retired in 2002. He passed away unexpectedly and that was kind of a shock to see in the paper today. He was only 68 and I just loved him dearly. He was a wonderful man and I had the um, opportunity to work side by side with him when I worked in my husband's quarry and we used to palletize stone together and have a lot of laughs and he, he taught me an awful lot so I just got back from that and I'm still a little a little sniffly um, so this one here is the designer fabric candy cane Christmas and there is a very small I call it Swiss dot. I don't know if I'm using the right terminology, but that's what I'm choosing to put on the Frosted Flakes um, box today. So again, it's very, very nice material and we will be using that. So let's get started. Um, the other day I didn't put any parchment paper down on my on my uh, tempered glass here and this got to be a mess um, because of the glue that we're going to be using it's a fabric glue it's your fabric tack uh, permanent adhesive bonds fabric lace glass leather wooden trims so <clears throat> we're going to be using this and this does get sticky on your hands uh, on your fingers and you'll see how it it does end up getting on your fingers um, and to glue the smaller pieces, um, I've pre-cut these to put on the box. Um, I just use this art glitter glue because it has a nice fine line. So if, and I don't know if you have a tempered glass mat that you work on to protect your table, or I don't know how you get glue off. This is like a laminate and um, this is pretty sturdy, my desk. But when I'm working with glue, I don't I don't like to work directly on the the um, desk itself. But this fabric tack, this was a mess. So in order to clean it, I first tried um, a glass cleaner and it didn't work. So I got out some soft scrub and I did just use soft scrub on this. It came right up. Then I wiped it down nicely. Um, so there's a little. A little tip but today I'm putting down a little bit of the um, parchment paper and if I was baking I would put a little bit of batter underneath this and my in my cupboard if I was going to be rolling cookies but I'm not baking I'm working with paper and if I can find my small dots which it doesn't look like I have any out Here's a mini dot. I'm just going to take a mini dot, and if I can, maybe they won't stick to this because it is parchment paper. Um, and if they don't stick, I'm going to put a mini dot, dot right here, and that's not going to stick. So, all right, then I'm going to try some washi tape. So, let me get a thing of washi tape. And I always try to, one that I don't really care for, um, I try to use in miscellaneous. So I think I'll take a piece of washi tape and we're going to put that right there. I just don't want my, I don't want this sliding around when I'm using stuff to glue. And I'll put that there and I'll put a little piece down here. Okay. All right. So that's not going anywhere now. And I think I will put another little piece right there okay so that's steady and sturdy all right so the first thing you want to do is take your obviously open up the box and you want to take it apart um don't worry about 
you know, if it doesn't come out perfect or like this here, you're going to be cutting that off anyways. So I'm kind of working backwards here because I'm just trying to save time. I pre-cut um, my uh, cardstock, and I'll, I'll show you what I do with this. Um, so I'm just going to slide this right under here, kind of line it up. I just want to take these tabs off. Just try to work as close to the tabs as you can. And off they come. So now, now you have a nice clean edge. And then you'll do the other side here. And those tabs are gone. And then you're going to do your, your one end here. You're just going to take the one end off. And I'm just going to fold this back a little bit so I can see exactly where I want to cut that. Yes, and this side too has to come off. So you're just going to end up with a letter C. I guess that's the best way to explain it. And... This here, there's still a little ridge. I'm just going to trim that because I believe I have room. Yeah, I'm just going to trim this a little bit more. I just don't want that little funky ridge there. All right? So that is that. And I guess while we're at it, we might as well kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to do the Cheez-Its box also. So you're going to disassemble your, your bottom here. And if it doesn't come right off, I don't want you to get a... Sometimes you can get a terrible um, cut, too, from working with this cardboard. It's, so this is where I take my paddle from my Cricut, and I just kind of slide it underneath. I don't need a cut, all right? So let's see if I'm going to be able to slide this in my mat here. I'm going to do the ends first, and I will get that lined up. All right, we'll slice that one off. We're going to slice this end off. And I'm doing on the larger box, the only reason I'm doing the side first is just because of space. And again, see, I'm not going to have space. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to use my scissors on this. And this is where I'm not going to because I'm a stickler about straight lines. So I'm going to fold this over, get it in here, and I'm going to cut it off if I can. Let's see if that's a straight, a straight line here. And at least I do know it is lined up evenly on the bottom by doing that. And again, just make sure you cut along, along the seam. You can cut, I mean, if you want to do a shorter one, that's fine. I mean, if you want to, you know, do a, a small, long one, but... For me, um, working, trying to do the patterns, um, the vintage patterns, and that's just that's just going to make it in there. But that's okay, and it depends on you know what I do. I mean, I'm sure I'll end up cutting the top off here. I'm not going to keep. I won't keep this flap on here. There's really no need to use that. I'll probably open these right up and do something fun with them. So that's gonna be set aside. So now you have 
you have the base of your book. Um, I'm just thinking if I need this. I don't think I need this again for a while. So what you do now is, because I want to make sure, this is, is a little flimsy. It's, I mean, you'll know. The Cheez-Its is a little heavier, but I really want the feel of a, um, of a book. I don't want a soft cover. So what I do now, I cut these out. And you're gonna you're gonna measure and don't go don't go directly from my measurements because if you cut in a little bit more than I have or I don't want you to say okay well you know Barbie said two and three quarters by four and a half inches tall and then all of a sudden you cut these ahead of time and they don't fit just double check your measurements all right um, this is measuring a little shy, and I put here shy of, I'm not real good with measurements, I kind of eyeball a lot of things, so it's just shy of two and three quarters by, and I would do four and a half. So it doesn't have to cover it completely. I just put this on here um, for some extra reinforcement. So we're going to, I guess I'll do it right on here. We'll get it on this end here. We're going to glue this on. And remember, don't go too close to your edge um, because glue spreads. And you're just going to want to get that on here. And I wore my apron today. Yesterday when I was working on this, I didn't wear my apron. And once again, everything went on my, my blue jeans. So today... I remembered to put my apron on and I can just wipe my hands on there. Oh, but my husband's been away on a business trip in New York um, and he's coming home tonight. It's round seven, so that'll be nice to see him. And um, yesterday I was up at the crack of dawn with him we got up at, the alarm went off at 4.30, but I woke up early. And don't worry, it doesn't have to, see how this is a little, looks like it's a little uneven. I did follow the, um, the, uh, I did follow, oh gosh darn it. I do it this way, girls, because it's just not, see, nothing sticks to parchment paper. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing does. So maybe wax paper would have been better for me to use. Um, you just want a little <clears throat> reinforcement. But yesterday morning I was up. I was actually in my craft room because my husband was showering to get ready to go. Um, I was in my craft room at four something. And then we went and had coffee. He left at 6. And I had all good intentions to start working on my other journal um, that I have been working on. And now these, these uh, cereal boxes caught my eye. And I'm like, nah, I want to try that. So, you know what? When the, when the Lord, what, what did my mother used to say? The Spirit. The Spirit hasn't moved me. <laughs> So when the spirit moves you, that's exactly what you do. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, and it's just, again, a little more reinforcement to make it a little bit sturdier. So we're going to set that aside. And we're going to come over and we're going to do the same thing to the Cheez-Its box. So I figured I would do two. So in case... I was going a little too fast or talking a little too fast. I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter um, than what they have been. Um, so I'm trying to do things, prep things, and go a little bit faster. Um, I thought I would do two boxes just so um, if you didn't catch it in the smaller one, you can catch it. It's, it's just the bigger size. Okay, so now this here, you can see 
how this little edge here, it's a little more popped, so this hangs over the side. So what I will do here, and I'm sure you'll have to do the same thing, I'm just gonna shave a little tiny bit off the side. There you go. All right, so that's that. And this, um, I didn't put on here, this is eight and a quarter um, tall. And again, it's just shy of, well, it's less than six and a quarter now. But again, you're gonna have to determine, this is fine, you're gonna have to determine on your box, you know, how you cut it. And this one is a little bit, that's a little bit wide also. So we'll shave a little bit off of here. Okay. All right, so that's that's good. And I'm just going to take a little, just a little bit off of that corner. All right, that's good. So let's get those glued down. So yesterday... I made for dinner, because it was just my boys and I. I was gonna make beef stew, um, but I waited too long. I like to have my beef stew simmer in the crock pot all day. Um, just so all the flavors can melt together. And I waited. I ended up in here most of the day in my craft room. Um, and it got to the point where my son was headed out to Taekwondo, and he wouldn't be home until quarter of seven. So I knew I had time. I don't like to eat without him. So I had a big pack of chicken in the back refrigerator. And um, chicken thighs. And I'm not one to buy cold cuts for lunches. I never have. I took after my mom with the big Sunday dinners. And then you'd have leftovers for the week. That's how I was raised. My mom didn't buy cold meat. Not until a bit little. That's why it was always such a treat when you went to a baby shower. They had those yummy finger rolls, um, the finger roll tray, and then they had the cold cut tray. And oh, the boiled ham used to be so good. Um, but I always said when I had my boys, I was gonna raise them like my mom raised me, um, us kids. So once a week I always, if not once a week, at least every other week. My boys love roast beef sandwiches. Um, and I don't like deli roast beef. It's too rare and ugh. So I always cook a roast in the beginning of the week and they have roast beef sandwiches um, for the week. So last night I took my chicken breasts and I put them in, it was a big family pack container. So there had to be probably three, six, nine, maybe 10, 12. I have a big tray. I put them in my tray. And um, then I put fresh mushrooms, sliced white mushrooms all over the top. Okay, so here's the Cheez-Its box. And we're going to set that aside and let that and let that dry. So I'll let's put a hold on my dinner and my food. Um and we are going to, I'm gonna grab my fabric. And remember, these are larger sheets of fabric. So they are folded up and they are, um, they are creased. So like my mama taught me, if you're gonna do something, do it right. So I went in, I didn't do it for this one yesterday. Um, Where's my little 
Oh, here it is right here. I didn't do it for this one, but I did find a section where there was no creases. So I lucked out because there's no creases or um, ripples or anything with this. But this one, I took both pieces and I took them in and ironed them. So if you have a piece of fabric that does have creases in it and lines, and take the time and just go in and um, iron your fabric. So this is fairly easy. I really just kind of eyeball it. Um, I got pretty good when I was doing all of my vintage pattern bags. I needed to keep an inch when I did the 2.0 bags. I needed to keep an inch. And the same when I did the interior lining, half an inch to an inch all the way around. So I just kind of eyeball this now. But I would keep, I would keep at least an inch if you have enough material and you can spare it. Um, because you can always cut it down. It's easier to take take it off. You can't put some on. That was my motto when I would hike in the winter. And I would layer and layer and layer my clothes. And I'd say it's easier to take it off um, if I got too hot hiking up the mountain. But if you don't bring the right out door gear, I mean, you have nothing to put on. And man, it gets cold on the top of those mountains. So any rate, I'll cut the fabrics. That way I can finish telling you about um, my dinner. So I took the chicken and I put um, the mushrooms on top. And then I grabbed a white onion. I like white onion because they're a little sweeter. And I cut that in half and I put it on each side. Um, each side of the, the roasting dish. And then on top of that, I put three nice pieces of celery. Um, I put quite a few sprigs of fresh thyme. And then I did my salt and pepper. And then I doused it um, on the side. Not on the top because it would take my salt and pepper away. But I doused the sides with white wine. Um, and then I baked it. I covered it with foil and I baked it at 400 um, and then I took my, my white potatoes and my sweet potatoes and I cut them up and I put them in a bowl, tossed them all together with um, olive oil, salt and pepper, and then I, I dumped a, sprinkled a ton of oregano in there. And then I put a little tiny bit of white wine in the bottom of a baking dish and put them in there, covered them with foil and in the oven they went. Oh my God, it was such a good, good dinner. And the nice thing is every night my boys thank me for dinner. So this is the material. This was out of the spring pack um, from Stampin' Up! And it's a very, very pretty material. So because I'll be doing vintage style, I chose this. And I'm going to cut this right straight across. Um, I'll take this down to about an inch. I'll leave a little on that side and I will cut this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my ruler right here so I can keep somewhat of a straight line instead of cutting it or trying to follow a pattern. Um, and I'm going to, I can move that along as I go. So, whoop, there goes my material. All right, so I'm going to start to cut this. Let's hope I don't cut my, get a hold of that parchment paper. All right, so I'm going to take and fold this now because I don't like the way my little zigzag is coming out. I'll just keep folding this. Okay. All right, so we'll set this fabric aside. And this still leaves me with a nice a nice size and I can make another book. Or I could do something totally different with that. All right, so I'm going to get these glued down because this is driving me nuts. And you'd think I'd learn, but I'm still going to try to 
and maybe, I'm not that smart, believe me. I can't figure out how to keep this down. All right, let's get these glued down. Like I said, this is driving me nuts. All right, so the other thing I wanted to say and show you on the small one, which we're going to go back to to get that done first, the, cer the small cereal box. Um, I have, I came up with an idea, and I have done this on my um, keepsake card holders. I have a small item here, um, Spare Parts, the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. And I thought that this would be cute to put on... Some gals just like to tie a ribbon around their journals or um, they put clamps. But I thought this would be cute. So you have it here and this will be folded. Um, I thought it would be cute to put this on the front and then I could tie a ribbon around it. So we have to do this before we're gonna line the inside of here. And the other thing I want you to, now you may see the blue lines through here, um, but I think it's because of the lighting. Yeah, and when you take it away, you really don't see the blue. Another thing that you could do is, I don't know if you'd want to, I wouldn't want you to bend it back this way, but if it really bothered you, you could, you could cover this. You could put this on this side, but this this doesn't bother me, the blue around here. Um, or you could use a darker material. I don't think you're gonna be able to really tell and see this. Um, okay, once it's done and out of these bright lights. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use for the outside the fabric tack and I will, I, I do not, put glue in between the creases. Um, I'm going to set this aside for a minute. I don't want to get glue on it. And this, I'm learning, this fabric tack is messy. So I'm just going to go around on the white and just do a little bit. I should try to have a, a little paintbrush or something, but that would, I think, make even more of a mess. So I just try to, without squeezing the bottle, just move it around on, on this here. I don't know if I've seen, and I, I'm sure other gals have done it, um, the little fabric cloth journals. But like I said, I'm... Okay, so I'm just going to try to line this up as best I can with the little dots here. And that'll kind of guide me. So I'm going to... And I hope I don't shake... I hope I don't shake the camera too much. I'll try to be gentle. I just kind of... try to adhere this, and then I... And it does come through. See, this is where... Um, the glue yesterday got on my glass mat. But it does dry... It makes it a little more, and see, see how nice that bends? Okay, so we've got that there. And then I think I'm going to move this over here. And then in order to bring these up, you know, you can't, you can't go like this because you're going to have a funky little corner there. So... I, I'm not going to use these. 
I just make a little a little notch as though you were some some gals do it this way okay I didn't do it I on this one I like to do it like a little Christmas package so I cut in I hope my light is okay for you ladies um, I got new lights and I'm getting used to them they're kind of bright in my eye and then I am going to Depends on how much material also you want up in here. Um, I'm going to cut this side down just a little bit. And don't let me forget <laughs> to adhere... I guess I can do it after. I'm glad these polka dots are on here because I can I can use them as my guide. Um, I need to adhere that little um, right there. That little thing before I cover the inside. All right, so let's see, yesterday I went like this. Just bear with me, girls, because Oh, I know what I did. I believe I folded that back and that, no. See, I do something one day. And then the next day, I forget. That's what old age does to you. Oh, for heaven's sakes, this is ridiculous. You're probably all saying, oh yeah, that you're real good, Barbie. You're real good. Okay, that's what I did. All right, I got it. So while I have it, I'm going to do it. And this is the part that gets, this is the messy part here. This is where it gets on your hands. And it gets messy. So I know what I did. So this gets rolled over like this. So you're gonna that gets glued down right there. And you're gonna see the when I'm done with this. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this side, the other side. And I just found out that you can take, instead of cutting the cap on this, you actually cut the little holder inside that holds the glue back. You make a hole in that, and then it comes out in a nice line. You don't have to um, get these big globs. You get a nice small stream. Okay, so there's your two, there's your two ends. And then... Now, you fold this back. <laughs> okay, you fold this back like that, okay? Fold that back in. This I'm going to clip off. Little bit. I knew I'd get it. It just takes me. Just takes me a little bit. Okay, fold that back and remove your strings. Okay. 
And then, there you go. And then we're going to get this glued down. Make sure that's nice and flat. And you're gonna fold that right over like a little package. Hold that down so you start to get the, it's almost like a crazy glue and I don't like it. And I don't like it, so I'm gonna try it this way. There we go. All right, so that's glued down. And I'll clip these. And if you were smart, Barbie, you would get these glued down first. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just have to laugh at myself half the time. My mind is always on step three when I haven't even gotten step one done. And then we can fold this over like a nice little package and that gives you a nice little corner there all right get that off we're gonna flip this over try not to jiggle the camera ladies That's okay, right there, okay. All right, so now, I'm not gonna glue the other one just yet. I'm just gonna fold this in half. Okay, so there you've got your inside done, mess and all. Um, and like I said, I want to get this, I wanna put this on here. Now we're going to line the inside of this, like this one is, where you have your paper of choice on the front, back, and center. So because I this is going to call for some little brads, I don't want the brads to show here, so I need to put this on first. So I'll find a little where I want that. And I think that would be just about right there. You know, I could even have it in the center here because what I planned on doing is running my ribbon through and tying it around this also would be cute. But maybe I'll put it towards the edge here. So I'd like to have that right about there. And I'm gonna take my handy dandy hole puncher here. I use this for everything. This one doesn't have the, this again, is a, it's a Cricut tool. Um, if I can poke a hole through this without poking my fingers, that'd be great. So there's one. And I have these little brads. And I'm going to they happen to be the same color I lucked out there. This is gonna go through here. And we're gonna put that like that. See, so hold that right in there like that. And then we're going to poke hole number two. Don't poke your finger. And 
and that one will go through. And that's on there. There you go. And there's the, this will be the front of the book, which will be really cute. And what I'm going to do is just so there's no mishaps, um, I'm going to take a small thing of glue, covered scotch tape from my fingers. Well, at least I know that scotch tape takes the glue and I'm going to put it over put it over these just to secure them a little bit okay so let's finish this one up that's very cute all right so seeing that this is going to be a Christmas I grabbed my six by six um, pads and I I really need to get a clock in here to see how I'm going to do for how I'm doing on time. Um, and we're going to pick. And if you see anything, I think this is cute. The ho, ho, ho. We could do the ho, ho, ho on each side here. Let me see if I have, let me see if I have enough though. Let's see. So this is going to be um, just a little, yeah, two, just a little more than two and a half. So we'll have enough here. So let's do the ho, 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 or I like that green too. Maybe we'll do the, maybe it needs green. There's a green. Here's the ho, ho, ho holiday. I think I'm going to do the green, and then I will do the, these are little sticklers to get out. I think I didn't rip that halfway down. Yeah, I think we'll do the green. So, let me get my mat. First, and we need two at four and a half. All right, is that right? Yep, four and a half, and it's going to be uh, just let's do two. I'm gonna have a little more than two and a half. Let's do two. See what I mean when I say I eyeball everything? All right, that's good. And we're gonna put this one over here. That's good. And we have our washi tape going down there. And then this here is gonna be one and a half by four and a half. One and a half by four and a half. So we have four and a half, and I have to get out my other my other one. And this is one and a half. All right, so let me get <laughs> Let me get some washi tape, some Christmas washi tape to use. And oops. 
I keep it in a, I keep some, not all of it, because I have a lot more than this, but I keep this. This is what I had picked out for when I did my, when I did my garlands. Um, this was my go-to tape. So let us, how about if we do, how about if, do I have a wider gold? How about this one in here? Let's see here. Some gals like to keep these on um, big rings, but let's put the gold in between. I like to keep them in a jar and all kinds of different little, little areas. All right, so before we adhere these, you're going to put down your washi tape. If I can find the end. Today I was listening to Dean Martin. I love Dean Martin. Um, put it right over those creases. Don't, don't get it on your material. It really won't stick. Um, when I was cooking this morning, um, I was talking to my girlfriend, Lori Jo, who is a great buddy of mine from Instagram. We met on Instagram. And then I was talking to Ashley from A Sunny Day on Instagram. And Lori Jo, I was making beef stew. Lori Jo was making cupcakes, which is her specialty. I'm going to antique these also. Um, and Ashley said she was making beef stew too. So I just thought it was funny. So I did a, a funny little story. Um, about Ashley and I making beef stew the same day. I love my girlfriends on Instagram. I've never, I've, I've met Lori. Um, she's a New Yorker. She's a New Yorker too. And we met one day this summer in um, Bryant Park. And we had a great lunch together. And oh my God, it was so nice to meet her. All right, so back comes the parchment paper. And I'm going to use this god-awful fabric tack again. Um, only for the fact that it's the fabric. And... It's going on fabric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on these little pieces um, instead of the book because I'm not sure exactly where this is going to lay out. I'd like to meet more of my Instagram friends because um, they're just all such lovely, lovely people. The community is so nice. Okay, and then you're going to, I fold mine up a little bit just so I can get it to where I want it. And then you're just going to glue that down. This is going to be so cute. I got to say one thing. I do have an Etsy shop, and I should be, promoting that more, but I'm finding more joy in doing this, 10 times more joy in sharing with everybody and um, sending some fun happy mail to people, real happy mail, not charging them, just sending them things that I make and create. Um, 10 times more than making something and getting it listed and worrying, worrying about it selling and pricing it right. And uh, I think those days are over for me. I like doing it. I think I got burned out last year. I've had so many Christmas garlands to make. I don't even, I can't even tell you how many I made, but the Halloween ones I made this year, I really enjoyed. So I think if I have a handful, you know, a half a dozen or so, but last Christmas, oh my Lord, 
I made so many. I was up many nights until 1 a.m. Um, glittering and putting things together. And All right, there you go. There she be. There she be. This is going to be so stinking cute. And this I may just have to make for somebody and send it to them. I have journals. I bought journals from other gals. I was scared to death to make one on my own. And now I'm thinking, you dummy. You dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Should have just done it from the get-go. But, oh well. As my mama used to say, c'est la vie. C'est la vie, Barbie, c'est la vie. That's life. Okay, I'm just going to move this a little bit here. All right. Yay. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, there you, there you have it. Just get your little corners. And another thing that, remember, I'm a stickler about, I don't like to, I'm always afraid I'm going to get the corner of my pages. So just do it underneath. Oh, I hope I'm not, I'm really flexing my camera, sorry. Just get it underneath and then you don't ever have to worry about catching a corner. But there is the start of the little Christmas one. Isn't that adorable? It's very cute. It's very cute. And I don't worry. I don't worry that this is coming down a little bit here. I think it just adds. And once you get your signatures in there, you're not even going to notice. Say you don't even you don't even really notice. So, all right. Um you want to do the cheese its box? If you want to do the cheese its box, hang tight and um, we'll do that. If not, if you have things to do, you can always come back. Um, thanks for watching and um, have a great night. So for those that are sticking around and you want to do the cheese its box, just to reinforce how to, maybe I need to reinforce how to do my corners. Um, stick around and let me show you the paper before you go let me show you the paper that I've chosen for the inside of this um, it comes from this pack I have so many beautiful pa papers I have not used and that's why another reason why I'm not creating and selling anymore I've really got to concentrate on family photos and things this is Haberdashery, the paper studio. Again, it is a um, Hobby Lobby. And I love this paper. Look at how well it goes with this. So let me set this aside, and I'll give you a little sneak preview of what's inside this. And it's just very vintage and fun great, great papers. They've got the butterflies that I love. Isn't this cute? How adorable is that? Look at that. That's going in my mom's book. She was a seamstress. Very, very, very cute. I love it all. So out of this book is this paper here and this is what I've chosen to put on the inside um, and remember this is going to be used for um, vintage patterns I have vintage papers so this will be really really cute cute and purdy 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 so now was I not smart in and this is where I say I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed sometimes. I say to my boys, I get so confused. And they're like, Mom, stop. So, just like sewing a cutting material for a dress pattern, am I going to have the 
So I'm going to, ah, and I have enough, thank God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, you see what I did? When I cut this, and probably some of you were saying, oh my God, what is she doing? If I were to cut, if I were to use this, not that it matters. And does it really matter? I guess it doesn't matter. No, that's all right. And then I can just turn it this way. You see where I'm going with this? If I have it this way. No, if I had it that way, it would be. If I have it that way. I don't think it really matters. Does it to you? No, I still think it's sideways. My mama would not be happy if I put that on there. She'd say, I taught you better. I taught you better than that. So, let me get my bearings straight. I have to cut it. No, it's got to be this way. It's got to go this way. So, I need to, and I'm going to use this side down here. I'm sorry, ladies. All right, so... But my mom would say, Barbara Mary, measure twice, cut once. And see what I did over there? I cut. I measured once and cut once. And that was a no-no. All right. Sorry, Mama. All right, so here we go. All right, so I think this one I will... You know what? And of course, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't know what I did with it. I have a, I have a material, my material cutter. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So I'm going to use this to cut. I don't know if you, these work out very well. Um, and again, I use these for my vintage sewing patterns cutting the material so we are going to cut an inch so I'm going to put this right here and I'm going to cut along this and you see how well that worked out yeah I should have there is actually a roller that goes with that so we are going to do it like we did before. And actually, I'm going to do it on this side because this is the straight edge. Sometimes it takes me a while, but I get it. Sometimes I wonder, the with everything I've created, how, uh, how I do it all. All right, so this was pressed, but I think it'll be all right. Now, I don't think it really matters because I have the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is where this crease is, I'm going to try to line this up with this crease when I, when I do... Um, when I do... Uh, glue it down and I think it'll be okay all right so here we go ladies back to the glue factory okay gals um I had a little interruption there so and at the same time I saw that I was a little over an hour so let's just get this let's just get this one done um and, oh, I started my glue, didn't I? Yeah, I had a little interruption. But that's okay. We'll get this glued on. And now this one is a little bit bigger. So this one is... 
again, I don't know if I should be putting glue all over the front there like that, um, what it's going to do to the cover, but we will see, won't we? We will see. All right, so we're going to take this, get this lined up. And we will get this down here. And again, if this is a little wobbly, I'm sorry. I got to press. I don't like to try to get that phone too jiggly. Now, the glue did not come through that much. There's a little bit on here, but it's not bad. Because oh, I did not put my parchment paper on here. All right, this is going to be very pretty. So here is the second cover, and let's get our... Um, Let's get our second, and I don't think I'm going to cut these back much on each side, only for the fact that because it's bigger, I want that material to really be snug in there, just like my, my sheets. I like to have them, my sheets nice and snug. So, ladies, do you remember how I did this? You got to work with me here. Fold that back. And then we fold it up. Ha ha. All right. So here we go. So we're going to, as I can bring in a little bit. All right. And then I'm not going, obviously, because this is a longer video. Um, We'll, we'll do the signatures. We'll just continue working on this, the signatures and the um, the binding, getting the signatures in another, another video. And then what I'll do is I'll break both books down. We won't, we won't continue to work on both books at once, but I kind of wanted to do both of these in the one video and like I said that way if you missed something on the the small book it's just reinforcement it's kind of like your homework all right and then we're going to let's see we're going to glue that um, I'm going to clip this off just so the glue can adhere to. Now this is a bigger one, so I hope I'm in frame. I hope I'm in frame. This is still all new to me. Okay, so we're going to This one and I do want that parchment paper because this is this is thinner here. I will tuck this back in like a little present. And you're gonna need a good, you're gonna need a good hand washing after you get done with us. We're gonna tuck that one back in like a little present. Okay. And then we will fold this one right up. Not 
worried about that, getting glue on the upper portion anymore. And the threads, don't worry about your threads. They can be, they can be clipped off afterwards. So we're going to bring that up, bring this up. This is the first larger one that I've done too. You're gonna bring that up. You're gonna wipe your hands on your apron, not on your pants. And you're just gonna keep working with this until it gets glued down. It is messy. It is messy, but that's okay. Okay, and you're just going to keep working that until it gets all tacked down. And then we'll do the other side. Sorry, ladies. You're going to pull that across and up in. Give yourself a little, a little finished corner there. Come on, you son of a gun, you. I used to say that when my boys were little. You son of a gun. And they'd say, pistol. <laughs> pistol, mommy. i say, that's right. That's a son of a big gun, isn't it? A pistol. Bring this across like this. Okie dokie. All right, we're going to just go for it. I'm going to bring that across. And then up we go. Up we go. And if anybody out there finds another glue, I may try another glue. Um, I just want to use this fabric glue. Oh, there goes my girl. She's out there, Daisy, growling. Because I think this is this holds the fabric the best. But if anybody out there, please comment if you've used another glue because it is sticky. I feel like I have Gorilla Glue on my fingers. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to worry about it drying because it's this side over here is already dry. Um, I'll just cut a few little threads off. And now I'm going to put the center paper in. And we're going to call it a day. Um, so here is your, here is the, ah. Now normally I would go in and I would wash my hands and get this glue off, but seeing that I'm, doing the video. I'm not going to do that. So we have got six inches and I'm wondering what do we have on this side? We have six inches. So what I'm going to do, seeing that I this is 12 by 12, I'm just going to cut this right down the center
down the center, six inches each. I just double check because, yep, six inches and six inches. Okay. Voila. All right, six inches. I don't like the way that one came out, but I think it'll be okay. Six by, a little shy. Here we go, a little shy of eight and a quarter. So we've got eight and a quarter. So I'm going to go, because I can always take a little bit off. Can't add it. You can't put it back on once it's cut. And I think that will be good. And this one is just a little shy of eight. They say eight and a quarter. My mother's sitting on my shoulder. Measure twice, cut once. A little shy of eight and a quarter. So there's eight and a quarter. And there we go, that's good. All right, now for the center, um, I'm going to pick something out of here. Maybe, I think I'll, I think I'll use this, sorry. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. And I think we're gonna use this end right here. So let's get that ready. And this is measuring out to just shy of two and a quarter. I'm probably driving you people nuts with my shy this and shy that. There we go. And what did I say the height was? Come on. Um, just shy of eight and a quarter. Of course. Of course. All right. All right. Let me grab some washi tape. And I'm going to take it out of this bin right here that I have. And I think I think I really like this, but do I want to cover it up? I think I'm going to use Oh dear. I think I'm going to use this one. Not that you can see it. Mm. I don't want to use that. You know what I'm going to do? Where's that gold? I'm going to use that gold again. Because I think that will be really pretty in here. So, let's see. I just want to see how far because this is bigger. I'm going to put this a little bit higher on this. A little bit higher. All right. So, there's that. that one all right 
get these glued in. And this one will be all set. So as you can see, if you have been working along, um, they aren't difficult, as I found out, to make. Um, and they're just really a lot of fun. They are really a lot of fun. And I'm really enjoying creating these and sharing. Um, okay, now make sure you got you have your whatever side you want up. I want this side. So this is going to be this is going to be the front right here. So that's the other thing. Don't put your papers in upside down. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming that if you miss a little spot of glue, you can go back like this with this corner here, you can go back and add, add a little bit in that corner. But I would say just get the majority of your, your papers, get them down, get them in the book. And my motto is also, nothing is perfect. There is nothing perfect. There is no such thing as perfection. Um, I think we use that word way too much. Um, okay, here we go. Bend your little, bend your book up a little bit. So you can decide just where you want that in there. Very cute. And I like it when, you know, you, you do have a homemade project and it's not perfect, you know, or somebody sees a little flaw in it. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It's it's all right. They're if they're looking that hard um, and scrutinizing it that much, then the the love for the product or or you, it's or the the gift. It's it's not there. Um, It can be very dishearten. People can be very disheartening, and or you can get disheartened from something, uh, something that someone says or does. People need to be kind. There's not enough kindness in this world anymore. There. And there you go. All right, ladies. This is it. This is it. I hope that you have tried this. I hope you worked along with me. I hope you will try it. It's much easier then I make it look. <laughs> um, isn't this cute? And I just love, save your pasta boxes, save your cheese it boxes, save, 
save all your boxes um, and you'll have some nice little books to make. So the next round will be where we make our signatures, um, where we punch our holes and we'll do some binding of the book. I'm not the best at it. I'm not the greatest. There's, I'm sure, professionals out there that you can follow and you can watch and you can learn from. Um, but we will have some fun next time with the bindings. So thank you, ladies, for joining in. Um, thank you for following along. Thank you for your comments. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I hope that I can continue to pass little tips and ideas on to you. And as I sit here, talk, here we go. I couldn't find the other the other little one we did. Um, these are just very cute. I love these little, the little boxed ones. Um, so, like I said, if I can pass any tips on to you, um, any little, any little things, it's been a pleasure and it's been a real joy. And I hope that you've, you have uh, enjoyed what we're working on and will continue to work on. And I thank you. Have a great night. God bless you. And thank you again for checking in, watching, subscribing, commenting, and following along. Bye-bye.